Well, good morning, Potter Sauce family. This is Elder Fred Cantu uh, for our midweek or Thursday devotional, and uh, just wanted to be a blessing onto you and and speak the word over us as we go forth the rest of this week and and as we come into the weekend. We want to be charged with the word of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Um, uh, as you can see, it's just me today. Um, my wife will join us next week, uh, but I just I have a word for you, for us, and I just want to just uh, share with you the what God is revealing unto me, and just what just what the awesomeness of God and who He is. Hallelujah! So I'm going to start in uh, well I'm going to start with prayer first. <laughs> Hallelujah! Well, Father God, we do we thank you as we come in your presence. We honor you, we praise you, and we give you the glory. Lord, Lord, we thank you, Father, as you come into our presence today. Father, that you fill us a fresh, blessed Holy Spirit. Father, that your anointing just flows, Father God. And thank you, Lord, Father, for the very presence of God that comes and dwells in our midst, Lord. And Lord, we just give you the praise, we give you the glory. Father, as, as we break forth your word, it goes out and it will not return void, Father. So we thank you, we praise you, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, here we go. Buckle up, sit back. I know it's a devotional, but, you know, I, I just get, I get moved by the Spirit, and it's just like I just start flowing. So here we go. Mark chapter 16, uh, verses... 15, and I'm going to read through 18, 15, Mark chapter 16, 15 through 18, and uh, we're, going to, we're going to talk about signs and wonders, all right? So verse 15 in chapter Mark, in chapter 16 of, of the book of Mark, and he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. Verse 17. And though and these signs, excuse me, and these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons, they will they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and they will drink and and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. God has called us to go and preach the gospel. He says, and he said to them, who is them? It's his disciples. It's you and I. He's called us to go and to preach the gospel. But I love it what it says in verse 17. It says, and these signs and wonders will follow those who believe. So it's with our faith that signs and wonders will begin to follow those who believe, those who have the faith. Jesus, when he, when he healed uh, the leopards, when he healed the, the blind man, when he healed those who were sick, sick, he said, according to your faith, be healed. So we see it's our faith that has to be engaged, believing that God is, is going to fulfill his promises that our healing, our deliverance, our, our wholeness is coming because God has spoken him and his word has been released. Hallelujah. God has called us as, uh, as his disciples to go and to preach the gospel and to heal the sick. And, to, and he says, and, there, and these signs will follow. Signs and wonders will follow you as you believe and you have your faith and the trust in God as you go forth in his strength, in his might. Hallelujah. Jump over with me to the book of Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5. I didn't mark out my scriptures today, but I do have them wrote down, so it's, they're a little bit quicker for me to, to, uh, to read off or get there, excuse me. And Acts chapter 5 verse 12 says this. It says, And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were, have been done among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. So we see here again, according to God's word, that signs and wonders follow 
those that comes forth from, it says, and through the hands of the apostles. Who's the apostles? That's you. That's me. We're the apostles. We're the ones that God has sent us out and says to go and preach the gospel, to heal the sick, and to cast out demons. It also says in the book of Matthew, I think it's in 28, it says that we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we're called to be sent out to go and to preach the gospels to all the nation. And as we go forth and as we go forth in faith, God says that signs and wonders will begin to follow. You know, that was one of my things that I, that I was seeking the Lord about, is saying, Lord, you had signs and wonders in the Bible. And Lord, I know that you are still able to do signs and wonders. And when I asked him, I said, why is it that we're, we don't see as many signs and wonders taking place? And he brought me to Mark chapter 16. And he's in, or yeah, chapter 16, verse 17, and it says, and these signs will follow those who believe. And I'm like, wow, there, there it is. It's the faith, our faith engaged in the word of God, that when God says he's going to do something, he's going to fulfill it. But it takes us to believe. It takes us to have that confidence and trust that knowing that God is working on our behalf. You know, in the, we, we all know this portion of, of, of Scripture, um, but I'm going to read it. It's found in Hebrews. I think it's Hebrews chapter 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. But faith, it says, Now faith is the substance so what is this? If we can if we can believe it that God is able to do it, then that's faith. We're believing for the unseen to happen even when it hasn't happened. So we have to have that measure of faith to believe that God is capable of still fulfilling His promise. When He says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for," that hope for that word hope is puts it in a future tense, meaning it hasn't occurred yet. It hasn't been brought to light yet, but it's something that we're hoping for. It's put into a future tense. But now faith is the substance, those things that we are believing that when we ask God, God, I thank you for whatever it is, financial breakthrough, whatever uh, healing, uh, deliverance, whatever it is. If you, can, if you can see it in the spirit, then you can believe you have faith that it can happen and manifest in the natural. Hallelujah. So now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's faith, believing that God is capable and able to fulfill it when even when we don't see it yet. So when we see here in the book of Acts chapter 5, verse 12, and through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. It's the apostles who done that. Let's jump over to uh, go back uh, one verse, uh, one chapter in the book of Acts, verse 20, Acts 4, <coughs> excuse me, verse 29. Um, and it says this, uh, verse 29, it says, Now the Lord looked on their threats and grant to, to your servants that with all boldness they, they may speak your word. Verse 30, by stretching out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through your name, through your holy servant, Jesus. So we see here God, again, healing, using his uh, disciples, using his servants to bring forth blessings, to bring forth the manifestation of, of healing, of the signs and wonders that come as we believe, as we, as we trust in the Lord. Acts chapter 6, verse 8. It says this, and Stephan, full of faith and power. So there's, there's two things here. Faith, he believed, he believed, even when he couldn't, even when it, it wasn't there yet, he believed, he believed in Jesus, he believed in the word, he believed that it, was, that the, that it would happen. But it says in power, that power, of course, is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in our life, because if you read that story of Stephen, it said he was filled with the Spirit of God. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. So here, let me get back. Uh, Acts chapter 6, verse 8. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. 
Here again, Stephen, a servant of the Lord, a servant of God, servant of the disciple, of the apostles, uh, was he was doing signs and wonders as in, uh, through the people. So you and I, we're capable of doing these signs and wonders. It's just believing that God is able to, it's getting our faith back into the word, getting our faith back into Jesus, getting our faith back into God. And not trusting in man, but we're trusting in God. We're trusting for that manifestation of healing and the breakthroughs and deliverances. Acts chapter 14, verse 3. Uh, Acts chapter 14, verse 3. It says that, Therefore they stayed there a long time, speaking boldly in the Lord, who was bearing witness of the word of his grace, granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Again, another time where God is using the disciples, sharing, they're speaking the word, they're declaring the word, they're, they're sharing the goodness of God. They're, they're being a witness of what God has done. And it says that God granted them signs and wonders to be done through their hands. So it's through us, it's through our faith and being engaged with God that we can begin to, we can see the signs and wonders begin to follow. Church, I'm asking for an increase of our faith that even in the season to come, that we're believing that signs and wonders, that things will begin to change, that just as the presence of God is manifested in our lives, we're going to see those signs and wonders follow after us. Because according to the word, that's what should happen as we're going forth in boldness, as we're going forth in his word, and as we're believing the word of God, then these signs and wonders follow those that believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me read just a, a couple more scriptures. I'm going to jump over to, to 2 Corinthians uh, chapter, chapter 12, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And it's uh, verse 12. Here we see, again, the disciples. This is truly the signs of, the, uh, of an apostle were accomplished among you with all perseverance in signs and wonders and in mighty deeds. Well, you might be thinking, well, that was for the apostles or that's for an apostle. I'm not an apostle. I'm only a servant of God. I'm only a tender that goes to church every Sunday and, and midweek. I'm only one that's praised to God. You know what? You are an apostle because you're a sent one. You're called to go forth. Here's, the, here's what an apostle is. He's a delegate. You're a delegate of the kingdom of God. When God said, go and preach the gospel to all the world, you're, you became a delegate. Second uh, Corinthians chapter 5, verse, I think it's 20 says, we're an ambassador for Christ as though Christ were pleading through us. So you are a delegate. You've been selected. A messenger. Here's the, another definition of an apostle. A messenger. You have a word for somebody. You got it. You're carrying something in you. You're carrying the word in you. Then you're an apostle. You've been sent. One who's sent forth. That's the other definition. One who's sent forth with orders. I believe that's what God told us to do in the book of Mark and also in the book of Matthews. And he says, go and to preach the gospel to all the earth. Hallelujah. So we have our orders. So we're an apostle. You're an apostle. So this is what that says. So it says, truly the signs of an apostle, you and I, were accomplished among you with all perseverance in signs and wonders and in mighty deeds. Praise be to God. Last, last portion of scripture, and then, I'll, then we'll pray. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4, or excuse me, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4. It's, um, I think, I, oops, I got to get into Hebrews. That's the wrong one. Here we go. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4. And God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. It's not by what we do. It's not by what we say. It's not by 
Well, the last time I did it this way, it's not by anything we're doing. It's through the will and through the purpose of the Holy Spirit. And it also takes faith. So, God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. So, it's us lining up with God, us fulfilling his purpose, us fulfilling his calling, us fulfilling our mandate to go and to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, and to raise the dead, and to cast out demons. It's coming into that perfect alignment in our faith that we believe, and as we believe, we're seeing signs and wonders coming and following after us. And it comes through you and I. It comes through us as we're obedient to Christ, as we're following the will and purposes of God, that we're going to see the signs and wonders begin to follow. Praise be to God. This is an opportune time for the church to just get itself in a place that we're going to see great signs and wonders. And we're going to see the manifestation of healing just happen right before our eyes. We're going to see the captives set free. We're going to see, uh, we're going to see the, the dead rise because of faith being engaged. This is a year that we're going to be engaged in faith in believing that God is who he says he is. He is the restorer. He is the rebuilder. He is our redeemer. Hallelujah. Well, I want you to be blessed today. I want you to be encouraged today by this word uh, that go forth in your in the in what God has called you to go and know that signs and wonders will follow you. But it, but according to His word, it says by our faith. According to our faith, though those who believe, those who believe, signs and wonders will follow. Well, Father, we do we thank you as we just uh, close this time in you, Father. We honor you. We praise you. We give you the glory, Father God, and we thank you, Father, for the works that you're doing through your people, through your disciples, through your servants, Father God, through your apostles, Lord. Father, the ones that are the that have been delegated, the messengers, the ones that was that have been sent, Father God. So, Father, we thank you, Father, for the gifts and callings in the body, Lord. And Father, we stir up, Father, the gifts in each and every one that father that is listening that was watching or will be watching at a later time we thank you father for those gifts we thank you father for the callings that you place in our lives and lord that we go forth with a fresh anointing of your spirit father god that father that we have uh, that 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 boldness father to go and to share the good news father just as your disciples were sharing the good news that signs and wonders were happening as they believed and as they as they spoke your word so father bless each and every listener please bless each and every uh follower father in jesus mighty name amen amen hallelujah hey i hope you have a great week i know that you will be blessed because the word of god is is released and you are his child and you are his uh, anointed and you are blessed hallelujah hey look forward to seeing you on sunday and look forward to seeing you guys next week so have a great week have the great rest of your week and we'll talk to you soon bye-bye